Well, thank you all for joining this web talk. Uh, we're talking today about a collaborative editing with Google Docs on Aspresco. So first of all, just let me do a just brief introduction of uh, Saisi and myself. Um, so Saisi is an award winning open source software consultancy. We are an Aspresco Platinum partner and we've been our for the best system integration for two years. Um, about myself, uh, well, I'm Anna Sivan. I'm a technical lead uh, here in SAISI. I have uh, more than six six years of Fresco uh, experience. Okay. So moving forward, uh, just uh, an index of what we are going to see in this web talk. Um, first, going to be the user case. Uh, what the problem that we faced in this user case and a Pesco workaround. Uh, later, the SISI solution for the user case. I'm going to show you a um, little demo of the solution and then we're going to the conclusions. So, uh, the user case is uh, basically a Pesco user who want to share my documents to, uh, could be both internal and external users. Uh, to Google Docs and directly from the Alfresco Google Docs editor. So then multiple users can edit the document all at the same time. So what's the problem uh, we face uh, with this user case? is basically with the current uh, Alfresco Google Docs integration, uh, only one user can edit the document at the same time. So basically uh, when uh, the, a user take out a document of Fresco with Google Docs, then it uh, is locked by the user, and then um, the share button of the Fresco Google Docs editor is being disabled for security reasons, as it states in the Fresco documentation. And this, for sure, uh, limits the collaboration a lot. Uh, here you can see a uh, a screenshot of the Alfresco uh, Google editor uh, out of the box. You can see at the top uh, right of the screen you have the share, the share button, but it is disabled, so we cannot use it in the out of, out of the box um, integration. So, with the Alfresco workaround for that, so if you go to Alfresco documentation, there's a, a section that said about um, how to share the document. But the problem with this is that you need to go to Google Docs, not to this application, then uh, go to Google Drive and uh, search for the document and go, go through a um, lot of or several screens and uh, several steps just to, to achieve that. So that sums up in a um, quite pure a user experience. So, so far, uh, what is the site solution for, for this problem? So, we did an extension of our first Google Docs integration, and basically, we put the option to share the document from within the first Google Docs editor. So, basically, you can have everything in the screen. You don't need to go out from the editor to share the document, and then you don't have to go to Google Docs and Google Drive and etc. So you have everything in one screen. So the benefits from this is obviously we improve the user experience because there is everything in one place, and also the, um, the users uh, can uh, work faster. Um, improve, improve uh, the user performance. So we can do a, a little demo of the, of the size solution. So we can just go here, I have a, a sample document just to uh, be shared with some users. So uh, I have two users uh, for share. Um, one is going to be like an external user um, without, uh, so the user is not in a at all. And then I'm going to use an internal user that is a, 
um, uh, Gmail account that is part of the is a user of, from a first code. So you can see here the the Fresco Google Docs editor. So basically, uh, here we have the share option uh, that we introduce to be able to share the document from within the editor. So we can just uh, click there, and then we need to introduce the the email. So for this, it's going to be. Um, the external user is going to share the document. Okay, and then we're going to share the document again to the internal user. So now um, the users should receive a notification in their uh, Gmail inbox. Okay, so if we go now, this is the external user. We have the invitation here. We can just open it. I have the document here to edit and if I go to the other user I don't have now I just Well, we have now the external user here. Let me show. I think it's going to be a typo. In the internal. So the internal user should receive to the, the notification. But anyway. Um, so we have here that uh, the user uh, has been uh, added, and we can uh, just document the uh, and edit the the document in the editor. Basically, uh, put uh, another comment from uh, collaboration. That's it. This is the this is the user that has been checked out, and we have the other user here that have the the comment of the original user that checked out the document, and we can put here another comment for the test. Now we have we have this the the other comment in the concurrent edition of the document. As you can see, the only one that can save the changes is the one that originally take the check out the document. So um, basically, uh, the other users that uh, only can edit the document. So whenever the original user of the checkout uh, feels that the the document can be saved, so it's just only just. Uh, save it to a fresco. There uh, needs to be uh, put the version information of the of the document, basically minor or major changes. Okay. Um, it's going to be like, uh, are you sure? Because there are a concurrent user and other user editing the document is okay. And they're saving the. Now, if we just refresh this, we have the document with the uh, edition of the of the collaboration if the in Google Docs. So, going back to the 
presentation. We can jump uh, to the conclusion. So what is um, achieving uh, with these uh, solutions? So basically, we can have faster collaboration uh, because uh, obviously it's, um, the edition of the document can be uh, done with multiple users at the same time. And then we can improve the end user experience with um, uh, the share button all in inside the the web, uh, sorry, the um, editor of Google Docs integration. So thank thank you all for joining this workshop.